Welcome to the show, Brian. Uh, what do you want? You want a little poorly played stream on a Wednesday, a rainy Wednesday here in San Diego. It's normally a little sunny in San Diego. Not today. No, it hasn't been for a bit now. And, uh, you know, I thank like you for it. joining me, Brian. Oh, shit. You see that, bro? No. no <laughs> Rewind that. Rewind that. He they dropped just... that, dude. Take that again. You want Classic Brian Boner. Take it again, Boner. Uh, hey, I forgot. We used the intro, uh, but we haven't done it in a while, so let's... Welcome, every one of you, to the like Poorly this? Played Stream number... 544? Four. Four. Yes! As always, oh, is my yeah. favorite <laughs> King Lord, Abu Chakra. Hello, Brian! Hi, Brian. What's up, my ninjas? What's up? What's Thanks. up? Thanks. Let's start Thanks. the show. Thanks. Welcome to the show. Uh, <laughs> we're coming back to our roots. Uh, the first poorly played stream that we attempted to do from my house, mm -hmm. even before the Starlink internet saved my life. Starlink. So I can't say a bad word about Daddy Elon. I know there's a lot of Elon doubters out there. but You don't kind of like the guy. I don't know. So I, Some but what of if I love him? Some of shit is good, you know? Some of the shit is quality. My dad loves him. Does rocket shit. Um, listen, uh, this was this was AI. episode one. I believe Eric was there. Mm -hmm. We were sitting in the living room, getting it on, and, you know, we don't go to sleep until six in the morning. You could have. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, but for real, it was, like, the worst quality. It was on a MacBook... Pro baby, Ooh. we played Minecraft uh, on the MacBook, and then we also streamed from the MacBook, <laughs> like dual duty. You know, that's awesome, man. Old school days. had to start somewhere. Well, oh, yeah. it was it was kind of like okay, what's Twitch? Let's figure this thing out. This right, five hundred and forty-four episodes ago. <sighs> what are we gonna wow. do for Mega Sixty Four's Twitch presence? Well, we could do the podcast there, but yes, also. How's this game stream work? Yeah, the poorly played stream. I bought a Hapog, Hapage, game capture brick thing was fucking huge, mm -hmm. and it had like RCA ins, you know. Man, didn't even it, this is pre HDMI, uh, and then God, the Razer came out with their capture device that was like a dongle or oh, it was like the a little ripsaw. Ripsaw, that's yeah. what it was. <laughs> Once that wow. came out, it was like, okay, we got HDMI, whatever. I forgot about that. Boom. Thing. Then I got cap Then I got into capture cards. That's the real way to do mm -hmm. it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, wow, I forgot about the ripsaw. Yeah. The first episode, though, we were playing on uh, a server that was, I think, full of Mega64 fans. Mm -hmm. Today we are offline. 
with the PlayStation 3 edition. We're gonna be tray. We're gonna be talking about you we're, yeah, were still playing the tray. Brian's representing. I'll press the door. You know, Xbox fans. I don't even know what you think you're doing out there. They're playing Halo. Yeah. We got resistance. Yeah, RE three resistance, baby. <laughs> yeah, On the tray. Yeah. yeah. I love that guy. We um we have Tackle a special entries. place in our heart for yeah, El Presador. Xbox is over party. He he he, he was on it before it's over. Before anyone at Microsoft even knew, you know, cuz the latest news I'm hearing is okay, Microsoft is kind of talking or someone's rumor milling that their first party games going to be available on other platforms. How could this be? How could we play Halo on a PlayStation? How are we playing Minecraft on the PS3. Well, it's that's because this came, came out, out before they bought it. Yeah, pervert. Not a good um, example there, but yeah, Notch. You know, he sold it, uh, but this is pre-sale, so that's why we have access, baby. Uh, connect to the PSN? No, offline. This is dangerous. dangerous. Online, you know, you could get you know gra grifters. Grifters. Yeah, people calling in saying uh, uh, piss words or whatever, you know. <laughs> Dude. Now, we could take some calls, and maybe they could say some piss words to us here. Nothing to load. Create new world. It's been so long. Honestly, I've only played on a, on a computer. I've never played on a console. Um, what is this? Mass Effect world. Halloween world. Wow. Skyrim world. Chinese mythology world. Probably, like, pre-built. Nightmare Before Christmas world. This licensed Disney... This PS3 game that was is now owned by Microsoft... It has a Disney property in it. That's it. Two of them. Honestly. I guess. Yeah. Okay. What? I just want normal ass Minecraft, right? New World. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I. I, I would assume. It's been, it's been a while. Okay. Oh shit! I gotta unplug that. You know what happens to coffee if I don't unplug my controller? Yeah. Well, this oh. time your coffee looks like it has a cap. Yeah, I got the I got the thermos on. Uh, <laughs> had a good had a good birthday show. Was that last week? Yeah, that was last week, ago? man. Yeah, it was great. Um. It was fun uh, seeing everyone, and, and I didn't really celebrate until later that weekend. I kind of just went out to a little dinner with my immediate family, and that was cool. Mm -hmm. Just got to spend some time. Where did you guys go? Um, a seafood restaurant. Oh. Kind of a little more upscale, close by my place. Okay. Okay. A little fancier, a Sunday brunch before the podcast. Ooh. It's hard with everyone's schedule. It's, did it's you hard. Get the tacos? It's hard to get together. No, I, what did I do? I it was still like brunch, so I got actual breakfast food. No shit. I got like okay. a like a fishy shrimp uh, scramble kind of omelet thing. Man, you really sold that. Yeah, fishy <laughs> shrimpy. Hey guys. Sounds kind of <laughs> sour. <laughs> Ooh. Fishy shrimp omelet. Well, it was a seafood omelet. Sorry, Brian. <gasps> I'm trying to remember what's in it. Why well, pick your fucking texture pack? Okay, difficult. Survival or creative? I don't know, dude. Creative? Uh, Not survival. Easy, normal, normal. Creative, I guess, is if you're building. I would do, yeah, survival. Normal, That's dude. Normal mode. I don't know. Texture creative, packs. People are saying creative is good. Creative is good. Is Why that not? where I have like unlimited stuff to build, or do I have to mine? I don't. I don't know. Let's anything do. About this let's game, survive. Man. Let's see. It sounds like no challenge if I play on easy creative, right? Create no mining. World. Okay. No mining. No mining. Okay. okay. Well, then that's not. That's not how you play the game, guys. It's wow. not how. That's not vanilla. We're not gonna beat this. It's not vanilla Minecraft. You don't know, bro. You think you know? He knows something I don't. Chat. <laughs> Oh, Did you make man. your text smaller, bro? It's um, no. You just got great eyes. I'm gonna look. I have to go over no, here. You know it does look smaller. I, I have to go to, last week. I gotta go to the IRL chat in the Lazy Boy Lounge. Uh, the wheel is in play. Noxy, good to see ya. Alonzo Gaming, Killer DLS, Gory Ghostal, Garrett beats Dream World record confirmed. I'm here for it. You know it, baby. Battle Frog, happy to have ya. Shouts out, Efna. Yeah. F NASA. Oh, the other one. Hello, Ranty Rose, Burke Digital. Ooh, we, got, we got so many people here hanging out. Yeah, today. so happy to have the Rastafarian. I'm sorry, the Mega Sixtafarians. It's so so what? Excuse me. 
Now, did you get anything cool oh, for your uh, for your birthday this year? Anything, um, uh, anything you you wanted? Santa treat you good? No, you know Santa doesn't do birthdays. Number uh, one, right? Uh, and B, yeah, I just I didn't really want anything for my birthday. Like, um, I think there's uh, Trish owes me some personal uh, favor that I asked for. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. What the fuck? That's all I'm gonna say uh, at this point. It was dance class. That's not the right one. You don't give a fuck about. Well, that's not, it's not the right one. Either. I'm getting horny now. There we go. About Nailed it. All right, uh, cool. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> anyway, so she owes me that. Uh, what else? Help me get out of this conversation. Jeez. I don't know. You you brought yourself into this conversation. Brian. <laughs> there's a plan. What I'm talking about, honestly, is our plan to go around to all. There's a chain of comic stores in San Diego called Comics and Stuff. Yeah. They're like in every mall. Oh, okay. So we went around to every location. <laughs> Just to look and see, like, what's their inventory in all, like, five locations? Okay. Like, what cool. statue? Because she was like, you should pick out, a, in the past, she's, like, got me a statue or, like, a figure from comics and stuff. Ooh. And, yeah. like, I remember I picked out, for years I had fucking drooled over this giant resin statue that was, like, almost 16, 17 inches tall of a Resident Evil 2 zombie police officer. Oh. It's just this fucking generic bitchin super detailed zombie cop it's like when do you see like a garage kit for resident evil 2 like i don't know it's oh, been in, wow. it's been in there and i've looked at it because this was like in my local store i looked at it for years and then one year it was finally like oh yeah like that's like not crazy expensive it's like a 200 hundred dollar statue okay so she got me that and we were thinking the same thing this year like oh we'll pick something out but let's go to every store and find out okay but turns out like only the statue cases are like at one location, the, the home location. The one by yeah. The, the there was main one. one right? There was the, some the other OG store. There was some small busts and some other stuff, but the like OG Ooh. store that had uh, the big case. Yeah, we have, that's the last one to cross off the list because that's the one we frequent. Yeah. So I got to figure out. Uh, oh, I'm in. Am I? I thought z- the one in Mission Valley had statues now. They had the most. That was a nice big store. Um, mall real estate is so fucking different than it's how it weird, used to be dude. so it's crazy how like yeah all the westfield malls in san diego all kind of have a comics and stuff still yeah and well have they put, them, since they put I was them in there some of them didn't have some them of them didn't yeah some of yeah. them moved like plasma bonita's gone i think i think so yeah plasma bonita it's not what it's called but it's no. okay this is the crafting interface oh shit i'm knocking everything oh thank you I, uh ex- noxy Oh, thank. Are we getting gifts? Oh, yeah, thank you, thank Noxie. Thank you, five gifts. Class. It's not it. It's, I think, this one. There we go. Thanks, Ooh, yeah. Noxie. Thank you. I uh, can always watch people play this game, but I cannot play it myself. Why? Why do you say that? I mean, I don't, I'm not going to be, like, crafting shit. It's so boring. It's so boring. <laughs> so boring. It's exploring for me. Yeah. But I need to, like... Oh, so I don't have anything, though. That's the thing. Like, what's the fastest way to make just, like, a shovel? I don't that's know. what that's what we gotta do. Let's call let's call in viewers. Let's call in and let us know what's the best and fastest way to make a shovel. You gotta break some wood. Gotta get that wood. I'm going for the tree. I'm getting I'm I'm hunting for wood. Chopped with an axe can be crafted into planks or used as fuel. Alright, we do have somebody in the call in queue. Let's it's see. probably like a hundred. A uh, hundred smacks to get one axe. Shit, fishing. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. These days. How's it going? Hey, days? man. What's going on? It's been a long time. I'm here in yeah. Japan. Whoa. You yeah, are. yeah. It's been a long time. Arigato. Yeah, yeah. I moved to Japan. Wow. We've I'm had a lot of friends fucking... calling in from Japan lately. I know. Not too long ago, we, we spoke. Yeah. Out. So, uh,. What are you? It looks like you're in some type of shopping center, some type of mall right now. Yeah, I'm in Umeda, Osaka. Do you? Uh, did you guys go there? I know you guys have been to Japan a lot. The other guys have visited Osaka, but I've only been to Tokyo and then like Mount Fuji area. Hmm. Uh, oh, and Chiba. Uh, I, I was a big Chiba head. Yeah. So. 
Osaka is really cool. I think you would love it in particular, Garrett. I hear the food uh, is there's phenomenal. There's a place called it. It's great, but there's this place Amemuda. It's so scummy and amazing. It's great. It's like the only place. I don't do any substances, but yeah. that's where you go to get it. You know, that's where, that's where um, the yakuza is running wild with the substances. You're saying. I. I think they are. Sorry, there's someone maybe, drumming here. Maybe you shouldn't confirm nor deny since you're in the country, you know. We're talking about the fictional video game Yakuza, like a dragon. Infinite wealth, right, Brian? Yeah, That's what yeah. We're talking you... about, right? Uh, so where's the scummy part That is town? what we're talking about. Is that where, like, Gaspar it's, Noe... It's called... Uh... Oh, yeah? It's Amemuda, uh, uh, American uh, Village. You can find it. American Village in Amemuda. Oh, you have to hold it down. Bro, I yeah. wasn't... Brian, I wasn't even fucking crafting yet, dude. I, you have to hold it down. I know, the chat was losing the You mind. have to hold it down? The then chat I... was going insane. That's easy! I can fucking do this. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up, chat. Uh, I was waiting until you finished talking to let you nays, know. Nays days, these fools don't even know me. But uh, oh, is that God. Underground Passage that I already found? Brian? Uh, maybe. Brian! See, this is what is so fun about this game. It's exploration. Nays yeah. days. Now, you're exploring the country of Japan and the seedier part of town, yeah. I heard. But uh, have you ever explored in Minecraft, perhaps? I have, you know. I had a server full of Ooh, friends and okay. ex-girlfriend, everything. I, ha I have memories, uh, a whole different life there. But that's like memories. over a decade ago now. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, li listening to the soundtrack, it, it brings me back. I hear that people really enjoy the Minecraft soundtrack. It's very soothing, I hear. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't know. It's too Not low. Not even soothing. And like, midis over. <laughs> some are just, like, even hard to listen to. It's, it's beautiful music. It's really uh -huh, good. Uh-huh. Hey, so, uh, have you ever seen Gaspar Noe's Enter the Void? It's, it's no, I haven't. film it kind of has themes and deals with... Uh, reincarnation and uh a, a dmt trip and uh, all the while this guy's like in this mm. kind of like seedy he's hanging out working at a bar at the seedier i don't know if he works at the bar in the beginning of the film but it's all like one shot it's a real trippy movie right but i wonder if that's this part of town you know i'd always heard rapungi is the place maybe that's just the prostitute uh place i don't remember yeah there's maybe, there's multiple yakas of places like my neighborhood where I live is supposedly ex Yakuza because it's so cheap. So I don't know, but I haven't gotten in any trouble, so I'm good now. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah, stay out of trouble. Keep your nose clean. Um, and uh, thank you for calling in and reporting. Uh, any uh, any bad weather? Any problems over there? Because we're having a hell of a rainstorm. Brian and I are. The streets are slick. Uh, no, oh, shit. How did I do that? No bad problems, but I, I have introduced some Japanese fans to um, Mustard Man and, uh, you know, just Brandon DiCamillo Chinese freestyle. Okay. Oh, nice. Hey, for they you, really like it. Would you like us to play a, a classic prank call uh, and you could stay uh, tuned to the show? I'd love it. All right. uh, yeah, I love Nays prank calls. Nays Days, hey, thank you so much for calling. We sure do thank love you. you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Let's let it rip. All right, see ya. Hello? Can I help you? Can I help you? I'm going to get some yeah, of this white wood. Can you speak the hell up a little? I can't hear a thing you're saying. Can I help you? Can I help you? Lawnmowers? <laughs> Lawnmowers? I'm looking for someone to fix my house. Okay. This I'm looking for someone to fix my yeah, house. Yeah, you got, I got your ad here. It says you'll buy my house, blah, blah, fix it up. Right? Yes, sir. Well, are you going to buy it or what? <laughs> okay, so there's some questions I need to ask you regarding your house for sale. Well, then you start asking away. Where did you see that ad in the paper? Like 10 minutes ago. Okay, did you see it in the paper? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it in the paper. <laughs> and then have your first name, please? Bill. That's with a B and an I. Uh-uh. Three L's. And may I have your last name, please? It is also Bill. Mm -hmm. But just with two L's. I turned the game audio on. I have your address, please? I live on 307. 307? 
Bill Avenue. And then have your zip code, please. 1938 Bill. <laughs> so many bills, I get confused. Shit. I'm hunting. <laughs> My zip code is 19382. You got that? Oh, she didn't last long. <laughs> I love it. Bill. With three L's. Why am I moving so slow, by the way? Am I over encumbered or something? Probably. Is that what happens in this game? I don't know. Oh, wow. What the heck? Quick move, take half, inventory. This is my inventory, okay. What What the hell? Oh, trophies. Nice. Oh, shit, I'm a regular Ryan Reed, y'all. <laughs> Let's see, exit, uh, crafting. What can I make? Nothing, I can't make shit. It would light up, right, if I could, I, oh fuck. Did I mean to do that? Is that good? Okay, I made some sticks. That's enough. Well, I can make a, a crafting table. Yeah. That's probably good to start making more shit. Yeah, if you got stone, Trapped you might be able chest. to make a pick or something. Can't do it. Oh, there's a fucking horse on me. Oh, look at that. There's a fucking horse on me, dude. I think that's a sheep. Mm, it fucking mood. Hold on. Oh, shit. The camera angle screwed me up, Brian. <laughs> Come here, you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Should I put this down? This place, right? Yeah, I yeah, don't I'm know. I fucked that up. Mine. What is no, it? Oh, nice what does it say? L1, L2? Crafting table. Allows L2. you to craft more varied items on the normal crafting. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now... Oh, see, look. Bro, there it is. We just figured it out. We don't need to chat. Sorry. There you go. Sorry, chat. Brian and I got there it. There you go. Got it made. Got it made in the shade. Um. Oh, boy. <laughs> You know, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, a cool announcement that oh. was, that was uh, made, Brian, before we get even any further into the show. Got a little announcement. Uh, we are doing an interactive stream coming up here in a couple weeks. That's right. Oh! Oh, you're correct. Oh, you're correct in your assumptions. Hello. <laughs> Brian, what we're talking about here is the Mega 64 Olympic Board Games. <laughs> it's back. And you can hear and smell the competition in the air. The ripe smell of competition this upcoming February 17th, which is going to be on a Saturday, starting at noon p.m. Ooh. Pacific, Brian. Ooh. I am, so happy. I am so fucking happy as well as my esteemed competitors who are all coming out. There's a lot more merch drops to be expected. Oh! Hey, now. It's going to be divine. Okay. Who drops? Who drops? Who drops shit? Oh, I dropped something. Garrett dropped something. <clears throat> Surprise. What the fuck is that? That all changed colors. Oh, and my switcher just like... Oh, boy. Did you see the Steam Deck? Have yeah. a seizure and then come back? It said bye-bye. Okay, it's back now. Let's see if it's... Take uh, care uh, then. Bye-bye It's still now. working, folks. <laughs> so there's more announcements to come. Ooh. I think, real quick, can we just tease real quick? It's still up. If Brian, if you were at all interested, oh my god, skate or die on this brand spanking new release, the Green Man deck is up, and it's uh, it's been up for a while. I cannot guarantee how much longer it'll be. Look at our beautiful Kevin in all his glory. Oh, I'm getting one of those. We also, uh, if you back up, I think there's another skate deck on sale as well. Excuse me? Excuse me? No, okay. just on the shop page, but you already bypassed it. It's cool. We've also got our In 5 Minutes Blu-ray still in the store. Check out shop.mega64.com. And, uh, yeah, look right there, Brian. You're at it. The landing page, I'm baby. I'm so fucking happy. Mmm. 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 
score all of our Dragon Ball Saga, score. as well as Ava and Metal Gear, with tons of behind the scenes and more. You gotta uh, see it. This Blu-ray is action-packed. Fully uh, loaded. This deck could be action-packed if you're, you know, doing 360 vert slides. Coming down in like warehouse level of Tony Hawk now, style skills, you know what I'm saying? Do you want to throw one more at him? Fucking hit him with it, Brian. Oh my god, look at this beautiful. We also new, have the classic new deck. So what? The boys skate deck is still boys. up. Check it all out. Shop.mega64.com. The boys. Uh speaking of the Ava in five minutes and the Dragon Ball Z in five minutes. Speaking of, yeah. We put earlier in the year all of i think it was late last year actually all of ava together and kind of like hey here's like one cinematic hey video all edited together all of ava uh that just happened for dragon ball as well oh so we just uploaded earlier That's i believe right. this week it went up all of dragon ball z the complete series in our live action suited format um it's great. It's like so fucking seamless, you know? And uh, I really That's great. I really enjoy it getting another breath wow. of fresh air with a bunch of new viewers. Um, so yeah, check that out. I like Follow it. Omega 64 on YouTube. We're also, you know, we're streaming on multi platforms. We're Shout uploading out YouTube. the archives on multiple platforms. We're playing uh Microsoft platformer on a PlayStation. How is this even possible? You know, it's the year 2024, and equality is really, you know... I think MLK Week really did something this yeah, year. Yeah, changed the world, damn it. Cha it changed uh, equality in gaming in the game, game oh, I age. Almost, I can almost make a shovel. The era of the free gamer. I can almost make a shovel, Brian. Okay, so here's what I wanted to ask you. Why... Is Mega... Why is... Sorry, not Mega64. Back that up. Okay. Why is Microsoft talking about, hey, we're getting out of the console business? Have you heard this rumor? Yeah, some people have said said it to me. They said... They, they would say that to you? They said, they said that thing to me. How dare they? I didn't listen. How dare they? Uh, I mean, it makes sense for developers, uh, for ooh, studios water. like Sony and... Uh, not necessarily Sony because their devices have always done well, but for somebody like Xbox to not do a first-party console anymore. That's crazy, man. I mean, I guess it's like uh, they've already kind of been focusing on PC. Even, like, Game Pass works with PC. Uh, you know, I feel What's like for, for them it's uh, it's not about the... Um, oh, that's right. You have to hold it down. For them, it's just about making sales, and if you don't have to lose money on hardware and hardware sales, then yeah, you're uh, you're kind of good. A, it's a pivot in business. It's not a defeat. Uh, it's a pivot. It's still, yeah. still going to be profitable, I would assume. Why? Seriously, do we know? Am I overcovered? Why do I move so slow? All Maybe. Time? That's. I, mean, a, I don't remember that being a thing in fa Minecraft. Fact of the matter is, right now. Yeah. The only reason to have an Xbox is because it plays every single one of your Xbox games. Your old ones. Yeah, that you own. Yeah. That's about it. Otherwise, like you're saying, Game Pass is available. That brings pretty much all the new games Whoa. that Microsoft Studios or Studios owns Whoa. to your fingertips. And there's a bunch of stuff that comes with X uh, X Game Pass. So at what point is it worth it to have a whole fucking console box sitting there? Sitting there when connected to the internet, you can just play them on your PlayStation, where everybody would rather play their games anyways. So they're not making money on hardware. They yeah, they, they must not be if that's the if that's the new thing. I mean, I think they never wanted to get into the hardware game, but they knew that they wouldn't get any skin in the game without it. So Too they stayed dirt. in for as long as it was profitable. Three sixty was very profitable. Who knows, man? Who knows? It might, it might, it might be changing. I can't control this fucking. Oh, you're crouched, by the way. Can't control this child's this game. Audience. How do you uncrouch? Oh, there, Jesus Christ! That's why I looked so small. Now I can. Now I got it. I lost my crafting table, though. Oh well. Yeah. I tried to draw a line in the sand from where it was, but. Yeah, all right, Brian, you got a good point there. I mean, Sony happens to make. Uh, Sony's kind of trying to usurp what Nintendo used to do. They're really putting their money in on VR2. Yeah, and, uh, I'm surprised. I'm not. Really, at the amount of support VR2 is getting, because so, it's like, damn, did that do well for you? It, it's, it has to. It it's doesn't, it doesn't it, it's, it doesn't matter. At this point, it doesn't matter. It, uh, 
if it makes money now, it will make money because they need it to just be out there and they need live testing to know what to do to actually bring it to market at a point where it's going to be really, really good. It's like the, um, it's like the Joy-Cons. You know, the, the Wiimotes fucking suck. But, yeah. um, you know, and then they needed a fucking uh, motion attachment to make them better. Then they made a new Wiimote, but now the fucking Joy-Cons are actually pretty damn accurate. So, look without... At, I can see up his pants. Dude, look Steve, at his butt. Look at what Steve's... What Steve doesn't even What's wear up, underwear. Steve? So, yeah, no, I mean, I just Jesus, I just got Steve. access to a PSVR 2. Um, okay. I'm going to... After I beat Resident Evil 2 on, on KLBR for February Scary, I'm going to play uh, Resident Evil 8 VR. Yeah, uh, on, yeah, on the show, because I I'm I have it for like a couple of weeks. I want to try to fucking do it in that game. I, I know started well. that, and uh, yeah, it was fucking awesome. Now, just the way the weapon reloading and everything worked, it was fucking rad. Yeah. Now, on the other hand, That's my fr- my my friend also gave me a uh, Oculus Damn. for yeah, like just straight up an Oculus that he got originally, and uh, and I was playing the Resident Evil Four original. VR on it, and yeah. man, it, the PSVR 1 eats your fucking heart out. It's crazy how much the technology has changed. Oh, yeah. I mean, just have you used the PSVR 2 yet? Not yet. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. I, have to, I haven't plugged it in and set it up yet, but I, I That I, is I like on that. the level of like Oculus. Yeah, the, the, the PSVR 1 was very, uh, you know, yeah. cool for that kind of like attachment. It, it breathed a little more life into the PS4. Yeah. But it was clunky. It was not high resolution. It had lag, so it made you nauseous. I still, yeah. ki- I still kind of get nauseous. I that, wish I didn't. That's what happened while I was playing uh, Resident Evil Four VR. I was, I played for maybe a half hour. It was fun. I got to the village, and then it was, Shit, it was too. that encounter in the village, uh, uh, and and like it's fine because I don't turn yeah, on that the was, snap turning. That's where I see. I try to play as like, yeah, realistic as as I can. So I yeah. turn on. You know, full turning, and I yeah. think that's what fucks us up. We need to do the snap turn. No, see, the snap turn fucks me up because it's just it's too jarring. It, I, like oh. it, for me, it's better to just be able to look and move around. I do have to stand. Ow. I think. Oh, I think standing. What, I think what would ultimately make it easier yeah, for I'm me sitting. is having some sort of way to have you know get a controller that eventually. Uh, Let's me walk, I guess. You know, one of those like pads that lets you walk in any direction. Dude, I would love that. That um, would be a dream. Like one of those, yeah, mats that you run in. Yeah, that way it's just uh, it's just simpler on on that regard. Like it, it won't make me as nauseous. And we'll see what PSVR two looks like. Stakes. Even the Oculus surprised me with how smooth it ran. How it's all just in that fucking headset, and like uh, you know. I'm excited to play things like Beat Saber, fuck around with stuff uh, yeah, okay. in it, because I've never had like a, uh, a a legit VR headset before. Um, yeah, man. I've never really like had anything but the shitty PlayStation versions. I've never yeah. had like Oculus. I've used one, but it seems like you know the Meta Three is like the top of the line one right now, or something yeah. like that. Maybe I forget which one he gave me, but. It's really cool. It's really interesting. But again, so Sony is really focusing on kind of also having a unique gaming experience. They kind of learned from Nintendo on that and took years and years and years to develop their own very own Zeldas, their very own, you know, yeah. Marios, their very own, you know, brands that really put them forward. And now you're going to get the same level of like peripherals that Nintendo would give you for immersion and gameplay. And that's why I think they're really putting money into PSVR and uh, and PSVR 2, excuse me, because uh, it's the future of gaming. I mean, I, I've been saying this for months now. And it's I, the future? I, it's absolutely the future of gaming. We're, we, you and I, are behind to it. Like, kids nowadays probably do not get, like, a lot of them probably just don't get sick, you know? Like, they're just used to it. You get yeah. used to it the same way. Remember when you used to I play Doom and you used to get sick? Yeah, I, I will definitely like. I'll build a tolerance too, but Oops. kids these days are just gonna put it on and it'll be like wearing glasses, you know. Dude, why can't I fucking jump anymore? Oh, there we go. I threw my axe. Pick up the fucking axe. Please stop crouching. Jesus. I got stuck learning about horses. Uh, I know. 
I know uh, some guys that have kids that, yeah, play a lot of VR. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's weird how it really didn't catch with me. Mm. And I think that's because I play in pretty short increments. And it is the whole putting on the headset and setting everything up. And All right, getting ready. Yeah. Okay. All right. And, and now possibly I'm going to have a fucking headache tonight. <laughs> Yeah. That's true. I've kind of like, all right, I really got to be in the mood. Oh, shit, there's a fucking house already built here? Bro, huh. let's rob, let's see what's in the house. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, it's a, uh... Oh, shit, okay. So now, how do you fucking build? No, that's like break. Oh, shit, that's it. Okay, so now if I have these 44 fucking blocks here, I can... A bird, right? How's this work? Oh, dirt. That's dirt. Worms eat dirt. Wait, fuck it. I hate when I switch that camera angle. Hey, hey, there we go. I want to build a bridge. See, I mean, like, the, the, uh, the concept of Fortnite turned me off so badly because, like, can you imagine having to fucking shoot and do this? Oh, I know yeah. it changed. It controls Ow. actually pretty well. Ow. Yeah. It's not as complicated as you think. <laughs> uh, no, I tried it. Remember I gave uh, a stream? I, w I played... What were the two I said I would try? Uh, PUBG? PUBG. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was the first one. It was mobile, so people said that didn't count. <laughs> 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 and then I tried... Um, Oh no, maybe it was Five Nights we played. I don't remember you. I don't think Fortnite. I did play Fortnite. Yeah, maybe I haven't played Fortnite. I imagine it controls fine. I just can't. Im I I don't want to build stuff while I'm playing a shooter. I mean, it's. A, I remember it, this it being really hard is now. a lot like. Um, this is how I remember Minecraft being the like, building difficult. in uh, Metal Gear Survive. Yeah, which that that wasn't the best at. Oh. Uh, didn't yeah, get no, I, I got I got pretty good at like holding down hotkey and then knowing which ones and lo having them loaded. It's it's just a matter of learning them. Yeah, I bet if I put a lot of hours in. Oof. 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 That's a different game. <laughs> Damn it! Stop fucking. Oh yeah, here's the hole I made to try to. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> He's crouched. <laughs> Jesus fucking. <laughs> what is this? What is it telling me? I swear to God. <laughs> Get out! Oh, you, oh, son, shit. you son of a oh, bitch. Man. Okay. Oh, yeah, you gotta hold it. <laughs> We're gonna find a cavern, baby. Oh, there, there was that house we could go to. Yeah, there was. Let's see what's in the house. Oh, man. I just want this to open up. <clears throat> I wanna explore. Uh, okay, we could take another call. Alright. Shit, what's down here? I'm gonna crouch and find out. We got our good friend Chibi Chloe in the house. Chibi Chloe, hello? Uh, how the hell are you? Hello. Hello. How you been? What's up? I've been good. Is uh, is it nice over there in uh, Australia this time of year? Uh, it's calming down. It's it's sort of. Stops playing silly buggers on us, I think. Gotcha. Yeah, we uh, we have very different ecosystems over there on the opposite spectrums. Your winters and our summer, yeah. and vice versa. It's all it's very confusing. We're auto saving. It it's, is. We got a countdown for auto saving. Um, Jesus Christ, what? Oh. Okay, it's a. I've uh, never seen a game do that. Last week. Uh, say that again. Happy birthday for last week. Oh, shit. Beautiful. Thank you so much. I uh, had a great time being <laughs> here on the stream with y'all. That was that was really the best part of my day, the highlight. Johnny and Rocco came, brought a cake, and then Sean. That cake was good. I should have gotten another slice. Lennon came. Oh, it was here for a while, too, dude. It was? Yeah, it lasted like a good three days because we're all, you know. Oh. We're all slowly consuming uh, the sweets. Oh, that, yeah. I will tell you that whole bag of uh, haichu, though, that's gone. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, my no. God. Monsters. I went. No, that was me, dude. It was all me. Monster. 
fucking bad. Do I have any left? I don't blame you, man. I choose are good. I eat them like fucking the chips. Uh, I, yeah, I shouldn't eat chips that way either. <laughs> chips are fine because they're not that bad, you know, but yeah. fucking. No, just... they're not that good. Well, I mean, sometimes you just got to have some chips. I like onions. Chips. I cut chips it's out. shame we don't have them, RBD. That's wow. stupid. You never cut chips. No, you got to cut chips out, Brian. I Why had, would? I had to. No, not all the time. All the time. Every so often, you gotta have some chips. I'm going so strict. I mean, yeah, if they're like at a party, a bag of Doritos is open, you know, you go for it. But I quit buying them because I'll uh, have fucking chip dinner. Whoa, uh, guys, an inverted cross of blue whoa. water. This is a holy sacrament. Yeah, I just got baptized, you guys. Yeah, baptizing oh, these nuts. And look, it's a sign. It's a sign from Jesus. Jesus Christ. Look, uh, an underground cavern. That's right, we right. Found, we found what I was looking for. I need to build another goddamn, uh, I don't know where my crafting table is. Somewhere around these woods. Christ's cave, dude. Christ's cave. He, That's right. On the fourth day, he came, and he saw, and he extended the water. And I said, let the levee break, Josiah. No. Let the levee break. Whoa. So I was glad that didn't, I thought that might kill me, but <laughs> I'm glad it didn't. That's what I thought too. So, yeah. uh, speaking of Australia, um, yes. Chloe, I I was just on a podcast I recorded. It's coming out. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's coming out later this week. I'll be tweeting it and, and and such soon. But Brian, you know you you know where you love her, Ruby Innes. Oh yes, from Pocket Buds, uh, gave me a. Uh, uh, opportunity to sit down uh, with her on a podcast and then uh, go over tons of things in my career and then um, even record a cool little extra Patreon episode for them. Uh, so yeah, look for that to be coming out soon. But um, we were talking all about the Australian, you, that's got me thinking about it, Chloe. But we had a nice, we, we caught up and spoke about the goings on of Australia and Sadly, the passing of Queen Lizzie was also brought up, right? Oh, yeah. Still a, still a sore subject. Oh. It's, it's still sore w over there. Are you broken up about that? Uh, I mean, it's kind of... Australia and Canada, I feel, are kind of like United Kingdom and monarchy adjacent, right? Yeah, we, uh, Canada's still under the monarchy. We're under the monarchy. Um... It's or interesting not. because you ask anyone, ask anyone my age, and they would, they all say like they could give less of a fuck about the royalty. Yeah. But if you're over the age of like fifty, maybe sixty, then they care. They love that shit, right? Look at this. Is that a skeleton? But, uh, I... Oh fuck, Brian. So oh fuck, Brian. <laughs> fucking jokes when she died. Oh yeah, that we were making jokes too. It's interesting how. Um... Our, our personalities are very similar. It's just funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. It is. It is funny. Oh, He's shit, fine. dudes. <laughs> I got an arrow to the, the head. That's really funny. You need to wash it off. Rinse it off. Do you find that... Uh, I like to think that uh, most of your Australian knowledge comes from me. I hope so, anyway. Yeah, Chloe, you definitely generated a lot. I will say, you know, years of podcasting with... Jake Innes, Ruby mm -hmm. Innes, Zach Innes, getting all the Sunny Sydney startups and uh, hours behind that podcast under our belt. So many. We did kind of like, we got all the dumb questions out of our system on that podcast, right, Brian? <laughs> yeah, I guess. We got all our like, hey, does the toilet flush really in the other direction? Oh, yeah. Or is that just TV? I think that discussion was probably had. We talked a lot about how games and things. Well, interestingly enough, I found out like you guys don't have Steam decks released through Valve yet. Australian uh, Steam. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Clients I, can't I, get a I've Steam never, deck. I've never known anyone to have a Steam deck over here. I don't. Because they're not I available still. Apparently. Wow. Okay. Come on, Gaben, get on. Yeah. And, and until like. 2011 we didn't have an r rating for video games so anything that would have been an r rating was either censored or we just didn't get it yeah that's a lot hmm. of what we would talk about on gcp do you remember that brian it'd be yeah. like yeah this game never came out i had to import it that cost 80 fucking dollars it's like oh you poor jesus you poor gamers down under it's not fair there is 
There is one game, okay, I don't even remember what it's called. It's like some... It, it's called like, Mark Echo's Getting Up or something. I don't even know what it's called. Oh yeah, like, that was a Bando graffiti game. game. Because it... Yeah, it glamorizes and glorifies graffiti. But even though it's banned, you can still get it on Steam. So I bought it just because... Fuck yeah. you, Australian government. Fuck yeah, the government. fuck you. Fuck the government! Fuck your government. I just wanted to have it. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> Good way to go. I want to go find my crafting table so I can build another. Oh, steak. Ooh. Um, we gotta build up uh some kind of weapon to take on the skeleton. But I can't. Oh, there's the house. Okay. Remember where Jesus's uh, cave, where he rose on the seventh day, kind of mm -hmm. thing is. This fucking uh, place I got a I don't know if you if you talked about this last time I wasn't there. Okay. But uh, did you end up getting to see the Royal Rumble? Oh, yeah, I did watch all of the uh, Royal Rumble. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. Um, Thoughts? Well, <laughs> discuss, please. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I, I watched it. I talked about it with Sean, actually, because uh, Sean likes the Rumble. Of all things, he only watches for the Rumble. Some people are like that, man. Yeah, it gets him every year, right? Yeah. Kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, I had a good time uh, watching the women's match because, of course, my all-time favorite women's wrestler from AEW, Jade Cargill. Hell yeah. Made her in-ring debut. Great. Dominated, threw Nia Jax on her ass. Um, she was amazing. Pump kicks out of fucking every corner. It was great. Yeah, Jade was phenomenal looking. A uh, hell of a debut. The the mid card stuff whatever I I didn't really pay attention to gotta be honest of yeah course. I kind of I kind of left I kind of left the room when that was on I'm like okay Logan Paul all right see you later yeah no, <laughs> Logan I did Paul's watch your time dude I did watch the Logan Paul thing because I have been keeping go. my eye smart, on him smart. uh well the last year uh his Rumble clip was like the most viral fucking gif I saw in wrestling mm -hmm. I think that mid air collision was beautiful and like really impressed me. So yeah, I was watching that. Uh, didn't like uh, Mysterio's kid wrestle. What's his name? Dominic. Dominic. Yeah. Dominic. I, hadn't, I hadn't seen him perform yet. He was in the men's rumble, right? Um, yeah, he's like a shithead heel. Yeah, he's doing which well. I like. That I, I like. You know, Ray Ripley's obviously on my radar too. So it was good seeing her and the other. But Bailey, uh, the team ups. You know, like I, I was. Even though not a WWE fan and know really little about their superstars, their commentary team is really good at mm -hmm. filling you in on like, okay, Asuka is tag teams with these two. That's why they're working together. Oh, here's Bailey and fucking. That's how know. it should be. It was, it was good. I it, found I had. Yeah. Fun watching the women's than the men's. Sure. I don't. I don't know why. Even though you know my goat CM Punk was in there, but like I found that. Like the men's didn't really start to pick up until like later, whereas uh, the women's was just good, like all the way through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe because I'm more familiar with the women than I am with the men. I don't know. I uh, I did watch the men's definitely for Punker, um, and <laughs> and that was cool. Uh, seeing him come out and kind of like hurt his arm or whatever. <laughs> I I I did see the yeah. thing where like it really took him a while. Like, I, I definitely saw what everyone was talking about online with his arm and all the talking to different officials. Right. But I think, like, uh, he's just really good at selling. Also, I saw yeah, what looks what like a said, glob of spit come out of Cody Rhodes' mouth, but didn't seem to be a tooth. Yeah, I don't know what that was. It looked like fat. It looked like fat. Like or bristle. The only thing and the most logical thing is, like, a loogie. Like, a phlegm yeah. ball. A globule of... Could be. Something from deep within his chest when he took that bump. That's happened to me where I've spit shit out on the mat and go like, oh, sorry, there's a booger on the mat. Like, yeah. I don't want anyone to roll in that. Yeah, don't roll in my yeah. booger. But everyone's like, oh my god, it's a tooth. Could have like, been a tonsil looking, stone. Like, that, that's that's true exactly too. true, too, you know. Could have been that. Could have been, could have been. You get those but, uh, sometimes. But yeah, I did. Punk did actually get injured. Uh, being a CM Punk fan is suffering. I don't know if it's uh, real. Is it a real injury? Process all over. Yes, it's yeah. it's a 
Well, I, I, it is a real injury, but I don't know how bad it is. Only because they had that spot where Drew McIntyre comes out and stomps on his arm. And I think if he really fucked his arm, like, no way would he have allowed him to do that. Uh, Unless so, it was like, the other arm. Ma ma ooh, I, yeah, I don't well, know. Well, well, his arm. He came out with his arm in a sling, and it was in like a had a compression thing on it. So I can yeah. do this shit. But I mean, if you're working an arm injury, you'd work the other arm. So when you come back, people don't actually work the arm that you injured. Bro, I can build fucking. Yeah, steel I don't tools, know. So stone hose. But, but whether he's whether he's coming back for SummerSlam, maybe I don't know. And, and Drew McIntyre's been great, like a great fucking he deal because he came out and is like, I huge. prayed for this to happen and it happened. Oh, Drew, and Drew, I was very impressed. Uh, oh, he's just great. Stature wise, like, oh, you were gigantic. Yeah, sir. he's like 6'8, six, 6'5. Six, Love it. Love to see it. He's a, he's a big boy. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, you know, an interesting peek into uh, the product that I don't consume. Um, there was a there was know? a part during they had a whole promo thing before the rumble and uh, Drew's talking shit and Punk goes up to him and he says like uh, he says something like you know this is the last chance you have before I knock your teeth out and I'm thinking like bro <laughs> will you <laughs> so oh. look at him he, he he will eat you yeah watch out Punk he's scrappy like he's standing he's right old up, though like, you know, staring directly at his tits it's not gonna work. <laughs> He's, yeah, he's Drew scrappy. McIntyre is uh, 6'5". Is that kayfabe, or is that a real height? It's probably real height. Okay. You know, you never know with you these. You never know, yeah. You yeah. never know with these uh, these stars. Did I just, like, build a sword and, like, can't find it now? Did I drop it or throw it or something stupid? I don't know. Is it in your inventory? I swear to God. Yeah, oh, wait, there it is. What the fuck? But, uh, yeah, I, I thought of you when Jade came out. I thought, oh, Garrett's going to be oh. very happy right now. Yeah, I was so stoked to see uh, her land in the ring so fast. Honestly, that was a little sooner than I expected. Yeah? I just thought, like, okay, they're really going to take their time and, like, train her the fuck up. See, I did drop something. I dropped that No, ass. she can be in the Rumble, and then you don't – then she can do, like – it, you know, it was easy. It was like her... Two your, months of TV appearances. It was her usual. It was like yeah. two pump kicks, you know. Yeah. And the, the crowd knew Breaking who she in. was, and they went fucking nuts yeah. when she was in. I think it was her and, like, I want to say Becky Lynch or something. I don't know, but they were just staring at each other, and, like and everyone was like, ooh, fuck, this is cool. They knew. It was cool. Yeah, they knew it was up. They oh, knew. shit. I broke into the bathroom, guys. Hmm. I've made my way in. Well, that's cool. I'm glad the, uh, I'm glad people did enjoy the rumble. Yeah, it was, uh, you didn't see anything? Maybe a couple gifts of Cody looking, you know, no, victorious? I, he won, right? I don't yeah. even remember who won. Yeah, he won. doesn't matter, though. He, right. did, he did win, which did surprise me. I didn't think he would, but he did. And then, uh, I guess it doesn't matter because The Rock showed up and said, hey, fuck you, I'm <laughs> taking your spot. Well, this is all very interesting, too, with, like, the WrestleMania and The Rock, and, like, now they're walking it back, and... Is it due to public outcry? Yeah, I like, don't know. Is this, did I sneak up? Oh, oh shit. God. It was to begin with, like whether if it was supposed to elicit Fuck that you. reaction of outrage, because this isn't the first time The Rock has done this, where he's shown up and be like, nah, actually, I'm Right? So, We're all sick of The Rock. If, Who knows? Yeah, like, I, I, I did see a lot of jokes saying, like, you know, um, you know, this is all our fault because we didn't let Black Adam become a box office success. <laughs> now we're made to suffer. Hey, we bought cases now of Zoa energy. Get. It's true. It's got to be worth something. Um. Oh shit! I heard something, Brian. There's something scary in here. How do you regain health? I don't know. I, I think I have to cook food, but I have food, but it's it's uncooked. Oh. How do you open a? No. Ooh, a stone sword. That's how I threw it. Oh, pick that. Like up. an asshole. Open. It says on the screen what the button for open is. L2. Oh, L2. Oh, shit, Brian. Look at all this stuff I could steal. This is what you would do on your server with your friends. And you'd be like, I'm just going to borrow it. Yeah. You're not going to notice. Stone shovel. Ah, sticks. No one noticed. Honestly, as always, it's uh, it just goes back to there's a lot of fun stuff to watch depending on what you're interested in. You can watch it. Jordan Grace showing up to the Rumble was a really cool and unexpected thing.
Yeah, you know, I didn't know who that was. Are you familiar with Jordan TNA, Grace? TNA uh, Women's Champion. Like, yeah, very, from way back. Very famous. Same with, uh, she is the Women's uh, Champion. Uh, it was Naomi she, came, Trinity, she came from TNA. What she's called, she was there too. Say what? Oh, uh, Naomi. I think she was called Naomi. She's either Naomi or Trinity. But yeah, she was. I think she was in WWE. She left and went to TNA, and now she's come back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that was a cool one. She too, was like but... the second woman who showed up. She had like the uh, the light up sketches on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You, yeah. you you remember her from back in the day? I think. Uh, maybe. I remember. Uh, the main shock for me, because I was kind of expecting Jade, uh, was seeing Andrade El Idolo, who I feel like I had just seen an AEW match yeah. that was really great a month ago, and now he's like, oh yeah, signed with WWE. Andrade, they we lost Andrade over at AEW. Yeah, he wasn't. It's like we're getting the whole Collision reunion. We got Jade, we got yeah. Punk, we got Andrade. Dude, Saturday night's all right for fighting. I like it, man. It's fun. <laughs> Switch it up a little. Let people go away for a while, you know? Yeah, I think Tony's good at, like, Yeah, let us, let us fucking miss that. you. And bring new talent in, because I'll say, like, one of my favorite matches was last week's Rampage, where CMLL did that oh, yeah. a fucking lot people... crossover yeah. with their best luchadors. And uh, the dude doing this shit, and he fought da Daniel Bryan the next week on, on Collision solo singles match. Watch out! Dude, he's got an axe. Got I a got sword. a sword! Oh, Brian! It's so scary, dude. It's a horror game. <laughs> I know. Respond me. Uh, Chloe, hey, thanks for calling in. Thanks for chatting about wrestling. No problem. Thanks for having me, as usual. Of course. We'll talk to you again soon. I, uh, I'll have I'll have some updates on our shirt hopefully soon. Mm-hmm. And I want to run it by. Uh, really? I need to run it by the boys, but I want to give the PPS viewers, like we always said, first dibs. We got to figure that out. Yeah. We should have Rocco. Oh, yes, we should you. make an event of it. Have Rocco in here, sit him down. Yeah. Do a fucking drum sit him roll. Down. Talk to him about his behavior. Chloe. Thank you, Chloe. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so all my shit drops. Love Chloe. What a great, what a great call. Talking Good discussion. Wrestling. We didn't talk the Rumble last week. I'm glad we got that in. Yeah. Our Royal Rumble is truly pff, on the 17th. The Olympic board games. Oh, exactly. Damn. Look at him. He's just staring at him. Staring at you. Auto erotic. He's looking uh, right at you. Staring. He's gonna drown. I hope so. I fucking. I, I cannot. Oh my God, Brian. This game. Can we? Can we disable the click sticking? I don't know. That's what this PS3 controller is too loose. That's what I'm blaming it on. Honestly, no. Some of these old ones, like the board, gets a little weird. It's like a, it's I'm a playing. Loose. It, it's a uh, you know I, I mentioned earlier. It's Feb you scary the third year anniversary celebration of, yeah. of KLBR over on on Twitch TV. I love that you're Lord doing Brian. the retro Resi too. Yeah, me too. Because honestly, it has been. I just finished the um, Leon. A campaign yeah, yeah. like this the stock disc one going into Claire uh, next and man like as one does uh, th the game there's nothing wrong with that game that game is still as classic. good as it was back then classic it didn't age at all it's like it's a specific type of game playing it this time I understand it so much better can you that, hear the Ada Wong theme in is that MIDI? it yeah, I didn't know that was hers. That's what's playing right now from Resi Two. And uh, and man, like it's it's just been fun. It's uh, it, it's it's such a good game and so well designed and so so fun. I, I kind of like have been able to almost rekindle and recapture what it felt like to play back when I was a kid because I I kind of don't remember it. It's as been well. that long. Yeah, when I when I really like dive back into a retro game after it's been a super long time. Oh, there's fucking sharks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's totally interesting. Oh, that's not a shark. It's just a fish. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I got scared. But yeah, so that I, I really wanted to uh, to check that game out again because uh, we played two on KLBR back in like October, November. Remake, right? Remake, and now it's fresh in my mind, and it's really cool to compare how they did adjust the world and the map and like the objectives um, from. Yeah 
the two games because now I know both very well. Yeah. Um, and so I think you're really comparing and contrasting. I, I think it's just a I think it's a well executed game. I, I could I totally understand why people still pick it up today and like really enjoy it. I've been I've been having a blast. Skeleton. With it. And then yeah, aside from that, just running fucking KLBR TV twenty four seven's been. Oh, that's good you, since... you. You told me about that plan. That's new and uh, working out. Yeah, yeah. I mentioned this to Garrett. I never really mentioned it here because I uh, I didn't have the time to. But basically, yeah, one of the things that I did to celebrate the third year of my show on my channel is. Shit. Uh, cre- wow, is that where you died? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. What? I didn't know you could come back to where you died. That's what I thought. It's like you come back, you get your shit. I can take this guy on again. Okay, but yeah, no, no. Uh, now launched uh, last uh, Friday morning, technically. Ah, fuck. What the fuck, dude? Um, I you got fucked up, man. I need like a. They you have need like a bow armor. and arrow. I need armor. Shit, did I start on the right side of the house? It keeps starting me on the back of the house. Maybe. Coach Carter. But yeah, you gotta tune in. It's fun. I'm running a bunch of different TV shows, different programming, cartoons. Simpsons. Yeah, that's cool. All week long, all all day. day it's running now, twenty four seven. Yeah, random on. We can on... send them there after the show today. Yeah, but it's really it, it, it's been kind of cool to see how people respond to it. Um, okay, we're going all the way around the building. Should I go this way then this time? You know what the weirdest uh, response was? And then yeah, I'd try to go through the middle of the house here if you want. What was the weirdest response? People want commercials. They oh, want old really? school commercials yeah, yeah. in there too. I figured you would just want a playlist of TV shows back to back, raw, no cuts. Like, but people, I think that's it's something about it makes it feel cozy. To that's them. a lot of fun. Uh, on old MLK streams, we would do a lot of yeah commercials. Yeah. Um, you know, what is that? It is. It is kind of cozy. It is nostalgic. Wait. Oh, since I didn't... I only picked up... Oh. The stuff only spawned that I picked up. So the old shit didn't respawn. Yeah. Right? Or no. It, it all will when I get close enough. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. You son of a bitch. I mean, I, I, your idea is right. Right? Am I Get doing... him away from it so you can take I'm it doing back. This right? Can you sneak up? Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> This is Maniac Man. No! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going upstairs. No! Go upstairs. No! Oh, fuck. Yo, dog. This guy stole my shit. Coach Carter was slain by the Vindicator. Why does it say Coach Carter? Oh, wait a minute. I think... If I remember correctly, I think the PlayStation... Is like signed it. <laughs> you sit down. Uh, ah, that's why. I was like, why does it keep saying <laughs> Coach Carter? I read that earlier. I was like, yeah. Who the fuck? This why is, is it called Coach Carter? This is that PS3 that Kevin got me from oh. the thrift store. <laughs> Coach Carter is fucking locked in, baby. I thought that was just like the random generated name for the character in this in this run. Yeah, it's Coach Carter. Oh man. Uh, okay, fuck the house. That's funny. We gotta find, um, there was that cool Jesus cave. We gotta get, well, I need, like, a, a fire to get in there. I don't know. I don't know. Can't see, well, you can see kind of well in the cave. Yeah. Let's see. I like opening up a waterway. It'll help me, uh, dig. Keep the dirt wet kind of build an aqueduct. No, I can't go through this with my fucking hand. That's going to take too long. Okay. We got to we got to get our shit back, Brian. Oh, yeah, we, gonna do, be... we do. Coach Carter's not going to be felled by some uh... No, no. And now this never will never not be Coach Carter. Vindicator. So this is the permanent name of this console. Coach... I, I need it. Coach it's Carter. Oh yeah, I'm never changing it. Yeah. What's that? Oh, save probably. Good. Me. Yeah, there's my box. Could be. I can make a sword real quick. I I, I just gotta dig some stone. Mhm. Mm I gotta get some sticks. Let me get. Look, I got a rock in my hand. Sandstone. We're gonna get some wood. Boom. Nice. 
Make some sticks. Nice. Uh, in the meantime, yes. Um, I did talk about uh, back pocket gaming. I'm gonna I'm gonna be on with Ruby. Oh yeah. Pocket Buds podcast, which is really cool. Um, got to catch up and talk about the old GCP days. Had a good time. Uh, what else? Oh, we're coming oh. to your screen again, February 17th, Saturday. It's going to be a fucking blast. I, if you remember, won the Olympic board games tournament last year. You did. And I took the trophy and the prize money. Uh, but then there was a lot of controversy. Uh, some call it Standgate. There was a lot of people calling for a rematch of Twister, right? Mm. They wanted to see Twister go. So if you remember, we had an alternate Twister game a few weeks later in January on the podcast. It went 45 minutes. Very good. Which was well a done. lot. <laughs> well and uh, Derek felled me and cheated. took, well, I, you know, I'm just going to say he felled me. Took uh took me felt on or felt, both. We were very close and personal on that Twister game. Forty five minutes of sweat dripping into each other's orifices. And with that it. win, Derek took the title. So he is actually the reigning <laughs> champ. My reign was like two weeks. He has been rubbing that in my face, and I really hope to secure sure. the victory this year and get that trophy back. Nice. Um, the prize money, again, I told him it was already spent. You know, sorry about that. Oh, uh, yeah. Not my fault. Yeah. But he took the title. He took the trophy. And um, I'm hoping to compete as well as I did in that uh, last year's tournament. I know the fans and the viewers and the Mega Six Stafarians. Oh, you know them. You will be very, very excited to see what is in store on Olympic Board Game Day. Oh, yeah. Coming up this February the 17th. You know what? Take a date to it. Bring a date on over. Get a bottle of rosé. Get yourself a cheese and a little charcuterie. And uh, post up in front of your twitch.tv slash mega64 watching device. And put your peepers on to some mega64. Exactly It's that. going to be fun, dude. I'm Honestly, those are such fun streams because I feel like... Unlike a lot of the other streams, now now even though the Christmas cast last year was actually one of the most oh God, impressively competitive, wild. like genuinely competitive, um, yeah. I think because the food wasn't rancid ass and like chicken feet, people it actually been that tried. For years, though. I know, but it hasn't people been that actually for years. tried. But at a Mega 64s of Olympic board games, like it, it feels like there's always a. Um, you know, there's like a wild card thing that's going to happen. Like, who's going to take this game? What yeah. kind of game are we playing? And everybody was like really competing, it feels like. It really feels like everybody gets into the actual like trying to be a gold medalist by the end. So Totally, yeah. I mean, It's fun. It feels like, like their stakes are there. There's a competitive nature in me that I, you know, am not used to that comes out during the board game Olympics. Uh, yeah. For sure, yeah. Yeah, that you know, may, maybe maybe if you ever need a tag team partner in any tag oh, team board some games, games, some games, PPS, team PPS team against PPS. Uh, team uh, creepy, creepy crypt. Yeah, that's usually how we split it up lately. You know? Yeah, it's like team Megas Range, team Creepy Crypt, and then you know Garrett and Sean. <laughs> no, we don't have a team. Name you know what? Yet. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll do team. Uh, Team, Team PPS Brian. works better because me and me and Sean don't have a name. Yeah. So Team Brian why, why and Sean. I don't have stone. Versus Garrett and Sean. Didn't I just pick up all this stone? Is we'll this? Do, we'll do. We'll do Freebird rules. <laughs> Is this not stone <laughs> here? I'm breaking down. Uh, you don't get stone unless you use a pick. So he's just destroying stone, oh, not getting fuck. it. Thank and you. It's taking bro, forever. Bro. Who the fuck said that? Jordan. Jones. Thank you, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, you're familiar with the I game. I guess Garrett and Sean OTP is the classic. Okay, we did a good job during that scavenger hunt, though, that one year. That's true. That, we that, did do a good job. That scavenger hunt on the Patreon, I still, I, I haven't watched it, but um, I still feel like that was a fun little uh, random afternoon shit, uh, like like show that we did. It's where, oh, I don't have it in my pocket, but it's where I got my pocket knife. Well, Rocco got it. Actually, yeah, if you guys want to see the He's origin the Joker, of my pocket baby. knife. Uh, that I'm currently in possession of. 
Um, go watch that on Patreon. Subscribe to the Patreon. Many, yeah, that was a many cool, wonderful things on the Patreon. Very cool Patreon uh, yeah. video, that one. Yeah, Rocco Armed Brian. Rocco and Kevin Armed <laughs> Brian. So there you go. I. Um, they knew what was the right thing to do. Yeah. I took the dogs out on a long walk because it's, it's been raining so much today that uh, it broke like at noon. Uh, or actually a little earlier than that. It did, yeah. So it was like, Thankfully. fuck, we have this window like... The dogs haven't been out in a couple days because it's been raining so much. Let's, They've been farting. Let's take in. Let's take. The, no, it, I mean not more than usual. Okay. I mean the normal amount of farts. Right. Um, but the cats farting. Every you know, Trisha is maybe a little more than usual. <laughs> um, high high fart content. Fuck. High yield <laughs> gases. It's just been a lot of fast food. Uh, uh, you know. Yeah, I know. Me too. Um, but. But, but no, the dogs uh, finally had a little window to go out to the park, so we took them. And, like, halfway through, like, when we got a mile away, we go on, like, a two-mile route sometimes. Sure. When we got as far away as you can get on the walk, because it's a big circle, it started fucking raining. Oh. And, like, the puppies never experienced rain and oh. already doesn't like going out to pee when it's raining. And it's, like, a whole hassle getting them to use the bathroom when it's fucking pouring outside. Sure. So he had no choice, you know. He's just like, well, we're out, you know. We're on a mission. Yeah. He's got to follow us back home. And uh, when we got back to the car, it's like all four of us just soaking wet. Wow. We had to carry Junior the rest of the way because it, it was a little much for him. Yeah. He, he's he's slowing down. So we got a little uh, carrier for him. That's good. About halfway through the walk. He does the first mile and then that second mile. It's like, all right. We'll, it's fun, man. We'll carry your ass. Having having the dog is really something, uh, and taking them out is uh, is something I, I actually do look forward to. Sometimes I'm like cooking for the dog, taking care of the dog, all the dog like things like keep me so busy. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Yeah, this is just like a busyness that I never knew. <laughs> With a cat. You just don't have that. No. Me and you both being cat owners. Uh, oh, no. Uh, being a Four cat owner million. first and going to a dog, there's a lot more. you got to give them a lot more attention. Oh, uh, you God. have to interact with them more. You have to. 100% If you, that, if you yeah. want them to be in any way, uh, like, not shitheads, you have to train them. And, yeah. like, it's not, uh, it's not something you do in one month. It's something that's done every day. Consistently. Yeah. That's the thing is, like. You know how good routines are for humans? Yeah, it's the same for dogs. Exactly the same. The same and for and dogs. it's super important. I think having the dog has improved the efficiency in my life because I'm sticking to these routines too. Like, yeah. Me man. too. The one thing I could do without though, the old dog, he's like slowing down. Yeah. And he gets up to pee every fucking two hours. Mm. So it's like, you know, ten PM, midnight, two, four. 5.30, you know, 7, and by then it sun's up so I can leave the doggy door open. But because of the coyotes, I can't leave the fucking door, like, open for them at night. I got to constantly monitor the old guy by, you know, keeping him crated mm. or he'll go in the house. And uh, it's like clockwork, dude, every two hours. So I'm not getting, like, eight hours of sleep, and neither is Trish. That's okay. They say you don't need your eight hours. I just don't get it all at once. I get right. it. Right. But it's, yeah. every, it's in two-hour bursts. There you go. I can kind of, like, shamble out to the backyard with them like a fucking zombie and then go back into, like, my dream. Right. You know, I, I have I have, a, I have a, a unique ability to, like, fall asleep real easy. So uh, Trisha Good. gets Trisha gets, like, upset at how easy I can fall asleep. She's got to take, like, melatonin, have some sleepy time tea. Look at my gems. Ooh, my there jewels. you go. Oh, look at all my goodies. All right, don't get killed again. We don't get killed again. Press X? No. Oh, shit. what I do? I hear everyone's, like, growl, growl, growling and... Dr. Ryan's trying to come in here and tell you you need your eight hours. You don't need your eight hours. You need what you sleep. Can't get it, dude. I don't know what you want me to do. You just gotta get. You gotta get what you sleep. You know, I sleep about five, six hours. I don't sleep eight hours. Is that a torch? Lever. Yeah. You just said being turned off stays on the off position until released again. All right, well, dude, do I touch it? Use L2. Holy fuck, boys! We got doors. This game 
is uh, we've talked about this before. A uh, uh, huge milestone, huge um, like moment in in video game history is just the Minecraft fever that took over, mm-hmm. like Pac-Man fever, you know. Yeah. Before Fortnite, this is what kids were hooked on. <laughs> Boom. But also, not just for it being addictive and like kids liking it, but like innovative. Fucking return to form. It's what kind of game came out with retro graphics like this, and and was like this influential. Hello. Oh, Rob's here. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hello. What? This is PPS episode one twenty eight. Whoa. Welcome to Mine, Minecraft. We're, we're a little further. Oh my God. Wait, wait. Are we Vision Proing right now? Yeah, I already said I'm in my Gendo era. This is just what I... Can you bend down a little so they can get a good... Bro! Yeah, wow. there you go. That's looking... Hello, everyone. Looking good. Bro! I've been watching the PPS in this space. I've, I've been um, inside the PPS for some eyes, time bro. now. I believe it. And I just wanted to say Minecraft is the perfect game for digital cyber streamings. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and I, st- I watched... I watched this long enough and absorbed too much digital information Uh-oh. that I have to announce. You have to purge? No, I have to. I have changed. I'm different than I was the last time I was on here. Oh, no. I'm Prince here, was right. I'm here to announce I have absorbed his programming. I, ha- I am become Notch. No. no. You, you can't. Stay Rocco. <laughs> it says right here that Microsoft in. I have a candy room in my house. Oh my god. God damn it. I have a candy room in my house. It says Moj- Does Mojang make anything else, Notch? Or just candy? I left. Mojang. I only have fedoras. Alright, well. I don't know what they do. He's got a booming voice. Minecon at the Microsoft Store this weekend. Come come meet Notch this weekend. Such a sadness. This weekend. How do I? I gotta get out of this fucking. Come to Minecon. We've got Dead Mouse. <laughs> Dead Mouse made special mixes. Fuck. Pottery. For my birthday. I, whoever lives here, I just fucked your plants up. Uh, Notch. Well, you are Rocco, just kind of like. It's. Oh, Brian, I know what this is like. Oh. When Ocelot grafted Liquid Snake's arm yeah. onto himself. And it's kind of like a hypnogosia personality that gets absorbed by the host. Oh. So Rocco, you're still like in there, right? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, and, but <laughs> you can ch- kind of channel as like an alter notch and bring up, you know, everything that he would know. Because I have some questions. Maybe we could ask Notch that you might know. Microsoft. Whoa. Oh my god. We're gonna take a quick commercial break. I'm gonna check on Rocco. Brian, uh, speaking of Ada's song, here we go. Oh. Uh, wait, I, I, I uncued it. You hit it. Hey, you oh, no, guys, I uncued hey, it. I had it queued and I, at I switched play, it. At playing Minecraft, you guys are pretty good. <laughs> okay, that works. Oh, wow. We'll be right back.
Okay, we're coming back. It was just oh. A quick interlude with a oh. little oh. Oh. a little music by uh, our friend Fingers Brian. Hey. Yeah. What the fuck? Uh, now we love fingers here. It's Finger fitting. Me. It's fitting, Rocco. You and the dog. Uh, so what? You guys both have the Vision Pro. Hey. And I didn't know that Apple made them for canines. That's pretty cute. Yeah. yeah, and for uh, ferrets in the states, they're illegal. Right, so True. it kind of helps the dogs out on the battlefield. Kind of helps ferrets. Kind of makes ferrets think they're a better pet. You can weasel them in. Yeah, it makes them not stink like a skunk. Yeah, like shit. In your house, okay. You ever been to someone's house as a ferret, Brian? Uh, uh, are they legal here? Uh, no, no. But so no. I know I've I've been in one of those stinky ass bedrooms before. What so no. Uh, hey. But uh, I think I might know what you're talking about. Well, anyway, we're off the topic of ferrets, and we're back on the topic of ocelots. Yeah. Uh, we just announced, and that's, it's, it's, I'm playing Fingers Nuclear Warhead Remix. Seen any blue signals, any angels? And, and I'm, uh, announcing right here that we are coming to MGSCon. That's right. Yes, don't touch. July 20th, 2024. Hilton yeah. Long Beach. Look at that. Rocco, we were on tour for the first MGS Con. Yeah, that's right. I wanted to go Missed so it. bad. All my friends, Fingers, and all of his other podcasting homies over at the Kojima Frequency. Yeah. A bunch of, like, sellers that I bought stuff from that were displaying their wares at the convention, like Zanzibar Land I missed out on. Fingers himself did a DJ uh, kind of session uh one night all of the voice actors and cosplay that was also there yes uh i saw so much come out of the first con and i was so bummed i couldn't make it but we remedied this rocco yeah it's happening so what yes it is so what i'm telling you it's gonna be a good time one day only in long beach the kickstarter has been successful they're pushing through i believe their last stretch goal uh, you can find out more over at mgscon.com. Yeah, uh, I think uh, what we're planning to do, I, I think if yeah. everything goes according to plan, is this will be different than any of our other con experiences where you know our panel is going to be more about past things we worked on in the Kojima-verse. Totally. I guess you could say. Yeah. And, and uh, we may have, we may have a, a little showing on their exhibit floor possibly Ooh. that i think if Scoops. again if the plans go correctly yeah will be like i think mega 64 fans will like want to see that in person oh i think it might be cool to see that yeah we've Plus, got I'm, I'm sure we'll have like merch or something too but, we'll definitely but aside from that there might be some neat things <clears throat> you can't yeah. see anywhere else we'll definitely be slinging some of our uh, beautiful merchandise but yeah we've really talked about like ooh, how can we curate this experience for MGS con and right. uh, yeah. something we've never done before. So I'm, I'm excited. A lot more to come. Um, yeah. I talked to the organizer, I believe Amanda last year and just couldn't get it going. Uh, we were like on stage in fucking Baltimore or something yeah, like when it yeah. was happening. And I was so bummed I couldn't be there, but uh, it's happening this year. <laughs> I see Apache smash in the chat right now. Your mustache is crooked. What's Big up? Shout out. What's up, homie? Uh, the Kojima frequency just got, David Hader as a fucking guest on their wow. podcast. Awesome. Congratulations. Uh, go check that episode out uh, uh, if you can. I, I've always given uh, big nods to Fingers. We play a lot of his music here. But uh, the Kojima Frequency podcast is, if you're a fan of Kojima's games like we are, I know, Rocco, you're kind of like watching the Death Stranding trailer, like probably blown up the size of a fucking iMac. No, it's been, uh, the Best Buy here. website. It's right there. Oh, are you Are you pre-ordering? No. Oh, just on. Just a little shopping. Yeah. Giving a, Cyber a PS portal. Wednesday. Ooh, meow. Um, <laughs> where was I? Oh, Kojima Frequency. Uh, fantastic guests. Actors from Death Stranding, uh, Metal Gear series, and all the way uh, up to most recently having David Hayter on um, was great. I love the musicians that they get to interview, like Synthony Harrell and... Uh, back in the day, it was um, oh, why can't I think? Who sings uh, Snake Eater? Donna Burke. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. No, not Cynthia Harrell sings Snake Eater. Sorry. Ooh, meow. Donna Burke Ooh. sings uh, 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 everything else. What the fuck? <clears throat> Check it out. That was a horrible plug I just gave. 
<laughs> so uh, back to the game. So this fucking asshole just like showed up out of nowhere. Wait, where'd he go? I don't know. Did you see that enemy? See my health is like down? The game wasn't paused and I got my ass handed to me. But now he's gone? I don't understand how this fucking game works. Um, I know, I saw him grunting. You, is that him grunting? Oh wait, maybe I can eat the apple. Eat. Oh shit, oh shit. It put a half a health ticker. Oh no, it's going up slowly. Okay, cool. Okay, I just uh oh, yeah. I can't get rid of the glass ass video off this, so I have to put this I have you to go wanna, you I have might, to leave. Hey. You oh, might need to okay. restart it. I need to get the fuck out of here. Can you hear it like uh chipping and kind of like falling uh, onto the tile? Uh, Remember when it's like raining down onto the tile? It's mm. like sli but it's not quite just the timpani of the glass hitting, it's like it's like wet and it's kind of sloppy too. Wet and sloppy? What? The glass ass, you know. Oh, he was watching glass ass. Yeah, yeah. You didn't oh hear that part? no, they put it in on Vision. Yeah, there's an exclusive on Vision Pro version. Oh fuck, this could be a problem. Could I steal his bow and arrow though? You might. Oh, he's naked. If you're Look still at him. alive. Oh, what does that mean, Brian? Ah, fuck. Um. You know what though? This is good because the the mansion here is like a nice landmark. Like it's always there. Look, oh hey. Yeah. It keeps starting me in the same spot outside of it, and that's where all my shit is at least. So it does I, help, that's for sure. I did make new set of tools to go in there with uh before, but I think I've killed mostly everything. Except for the skeleton, apparently, that can harm me. Um so wow, lots to announce. Did I get to it all? I f it's so funny. I had the a Ada song queued up, but I moved it for fingers. I know. Check it out. I said uh, level two warhead storage remix. No, level two warning. I keep fucking everything up today, Brian. It's all right. Jesus Christ. Level two warning. Uh, let's craft. No, we we ain't got shit. That's right. Let's just go find our stuff. Let's find out. Find out where I left it. Oh fuck. Oh, creeper too? Oh, that's great. That's just fucking fantastic. What's that thing? Ooh, the creeper? They they do that. They hiss and then they explode. What's that thing, Brian? The creeper's the most popular villain in video game history. One of I mean, he's like a regular Sephiroth type character now. Uh, what were we talking about when Rocco came in? The importance of Minecraft historically? Yeah. To video games. It's remember. up. It's up there. Yeah, I mean, I mean okay. it's pretty important. You gotta you gotta name ten of the most important pieces of software to video gaming as a whole. Mm -hmm. you, you got ten answers. Uh, Doom. Doom's there for sure. Tetris. Where do you start? Tetris is there for sure. I think Tetris also is huge for handheld gaming. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I never had it on, like, a home console. I've only owned Tetris on portables. Yeah. It, did I lose all my shit up here? I can't even remember where I was. Was I upstairs? I don't think I was. Oh, look uh, at this guy. Look at that asshole. No, I wasn't. I definitely had not gone up here yet. Yeah, Mario 64. Mario 64, okay. We can only go to 10, right? Yeah. NES Mario, right? The Super Mario Brothers? Uh, you know, I wouldn't say that that changed anything that wasn't already being done. You know, whereas Mario 64 changed how games were played. Uh, Super Mario Brothers was just like many other games, platformers. It was just hugely popular, though, so yeah. it, like, it got everyone playing. Yeah, but people were also playing games regardless of, of Mario's success, right? Like... To me, if, if it's, like, the most important games, it would be something they did that made a impact. So, like, even Resident Evil Ooh! 4 would be one of those games, in my opinion, that is one of the most important games of all oh, time. Shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Resident Evil 4? Yeah. Could go up there. It could be... I, I think, like... I think starting out, you gotta go, uh... Pong. Yeah. Right? Pac-Man, because it's, it's, oh, here's my original crate. Look at that. Oh, there you go. Or my crafting table. 
So, uh, you know, Pong, Pac-Man, because it's arcades too, right? That was like the whole craze. Before mm -hmm. home consoles, like video games were only in arcades. Mm -hmm. So I give it, I, I'll give two points, if two out of ten to the originators, Pong and Pac-Man. Yeah. Yeah. I can't fit anyone else there. Like it's, you know, Centipede, Galaga, all these other greats, you know, uh, they exist, but... We're talking I can only fit 10 in there. Pong, Pac-Man, and then... What did I do? I flooded the fucking place? Yeah, you must have broken oh, the, the No, the, the creeper blew up a fucking hole in the wall in yeah. the bathtub. <laughs> oh, I can't get in now. Eh, you got right here. No? I can't get up there. Interesting. Um, so, I would then... I, I would want to say... Super Mario Brothers over Mario 64. Because hmm. the NES was like the first really popular home console. Like, I know there were Atari 2600s and there was computer gaming and Commodore 64s and Intellivisions, but really, when it get hit, when it hit, it's because, like, everyone got a Nintendo that year for Christmas in, like, yeah. 84 or something, right? The, the... Now, yeah, right. And now, I always wonder, though... Do you... And it came with Mario Brothers. Don't you think that... Somebody would have tried to make another home console. I feel like that would that would have been something that people they wouldn't have those who got to play Nintendo would have seen what it. Yeah, can but this do. isn't what ifs. I yeah. mean, this is just like the ten. Well, I gotta name ten most influential. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, if Nintendo didn't do it, I'm sure. Well, eventually, look who did. Sega. Hmm. Sega got in on the 16-bit era, right? They never did 8-bit. It just started with Master System. Yeah, and Genesis, uh, which are which are sixteen. So yeah, I mean they eventually definitely got in on the market, which is funny. It's like now Microsoft's talking about doing what Sega did, and it's like I never thought we'd got Sonic on on Nintendo systems, but here we are. Um, and now soon Halo will be on PlayStation. Oh, is there a treasure in here? I dear hope so. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, so the third is is Super Mario Brothers mm -hmm. slash Duck Hunt, if we're gonna count the same cartridge. What's next? Oh, I already raided this thing. Ocarina of Time for sure. Mm. Jordan, or uh, a bunch of people, Jordan, FNAS have all said. Yes. Over, okay, for the 64-bit era, over yeah. over Mario 64, I would give it to the most influential and popular Zelda, yeah, Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Easy. That's an easy one, Jordan. You're right. Okay. So that's four. I said Minecraft. We have to recognize it. Yeah. That's five. Um, other real big ones. Think about an online community that's never ceased. Ongoing. Game's been patched and redone and remade. And vanillaized and relaunched and remade. And Warcraft is, is yeah. definitely up there, right? Is this number five? Warcraft for sure. Warcraft, that covers your online... That's the biggest online MMO. World of Warcraft. Right? World of Warcraft, right. Yeah, because Warcraft is actually a predecessor to that franchise. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, okay. Is that five? Boom. The two arcade games, Pong and Pac-Man. Minecraft, cause, just because it's we're going out of order. Ocarina of Time. And, yeah, now... What'd we say? Uh, just, just recently. World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. Okay, that's five. Five left. You brought up Doom. That's the PC award winner. Yeah. To, to cover, like, PC gaming, like, all right, exploded when everyone had Doom. And Doom will run on everything. And I think, you know, Myst may have been the first computer game, like, I had on my home PC. But eventually I got fucking Doom going <laughs> once I got a copy of it. Uh, and it was old at that time. It was like I would already played Quake. Uh, what? Where the fuck it was the most fucking gratifying death sound? It was like I know, isn't it nice? You're dead. All right, this fucking grunting asshole. We're gonna get our shit back and we're gonna dig a tunnel. Where's the fucking mansion? Start me all the way out here. Um, Coach Carter's coming back for revenge. Okay, Doom is six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Four more. Uh, 
it's hard because you know you said Resident Evil 4, right? Yeah, definitely. Huge game, most popular entry into the series, possibly. Um, but did it revolutionize? Yeah. yeah. It changed what other franchises and other genres were doing, and it turned them into action-adventure. And then, like, everything was action-adventure after that. And fourth person, or whatever, third person, over-the-shoulder camera. It didn't exist before, but it was perfected in RE4. Yeah. Which is a GameCube game, if you really want to talk about its launch. It hadn't yeah. really changed much. <clears throat> okay, so three left. We're going with Re Resi 4. We can only pick ten. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'd go with four over any other entry in the series. Sure, sure. Again, because I'm just trying to think about what did they do that like no other game did, or that from that point on people just took that and, I'm gonna, and ran with it, you know. And I'm going to now put a vote in for Metal Gear Solid. As far as pushing a serious narrative in a game, I don't think there'd been anything quite like the first Metal Gear Solid on PlayStation. Especially not. That wasn't some sort of an RPG. Fully voice acted, fully uh, like melodramatic, like serious yeah. cutscenes and storyline. Like yeah, there's comedy in there, but it's like it was to be taken very seriously. Yeah, it's very melodramatic at times. I I mean I fully agree with you on that. It's one of okay. the reasons I liked it. Okay, so how many slots we got left? Three. Ooh. Ooh, the last two were Doom and Resident Evil 4. And then we gave it to Metal Gear Solid. So then we got two slots left. Yeah. And, it, you know, I'm just thinking, like, nothing that modern has really blown me away. Kojima's already got a game in there. And I think that's the mo I think that's the one to put in there, too, mm -hmm. from all of Kojima's stuff. Um, hmm. Do we think of mobile games? hugely important mm. starting in uh with all of the kind of like slot machine type like addictive sounds and uh <clears throat> bells and whistles and right loot boxes and you, you got your candy crush and your shit like that I, we, yeah i don't know i feel yeah. like oh, uh oh, fucking juked you i feel like that's its own category category in ah. i don't know because uh, then I would give it to the 3DS. Oh, the 3DS really was an incredible machine. I can't see. I can't fucking. Dead. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Portables. Uh, I, I feel like that's why Tetris is in there. Did we say? Yeah, we gave it. We, maybe. Did we give one to Tetris yet? Not yet. No. Okay. I said Tetris for. You did originally. Okay. So that's. W so, okay. That goes. That goes. Yeah. Because that is what I was thinking about, like, covering, like, the portable. And maybe that is, if you think about, like, okay, how many people are familiar with Tetris or were impacted by Tetris or Candy Crush? I think time-tested Tetris is probably more of a cultural impact. Yeah, Tetris, I mean, Tetris really made, I mean, everybody played it on their Game Boy. It, yeah, really. And subsequent... Every fucking version of Tetris I had, like, that came out yeah. on a portable. Like, yeah. never a home console, but, you know, every DS Tetris, every Switch Tetris 99 was fucking great. I got good at Tetris playing the Game Boy Advance version of the game. That like was the one that trained yeah. you, yeah. Yeah, like, it's it's absolutely the best portable game. I like Dr. Mario. Is that a bunny wagon? Yes, I like Dr. Mario better. <laughs> Yeah, it's fun. I mean, teach the room. Confirmed. It is a bunny wabbit. Um, yeah, it's just me. I think it's the music that does it for me. Mm. <clears throat> but, uh, okay, one slot left for, like, influential, life-changing, culturally impactful, uh, necessary to the gaming community as a whole. What else is up there? can't be anything recent right i mean it could if that if the you know if there was anything good out <laughs> what the fuck 
there's, there's some good, there's outliers, right? Um, speaking of Doom, here we got level E M O one or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, What's the last so one? so many of them could be considered. It's it's hard to limit ten, you know, and and each one. I like boxing it in like this though. Right, but I mean, it just it makes you think of so many different things. It's yeah, hard to, it's hard to decide. Rock band, Wii Sports. Ooh, good. You know, Wii good Sports. You, you played with mm. your fucking whole family. Okay, so did Rock Band. We, it, it, the Nintendo bundle ins are always a good choice. That's why I picked Mario Duck Hunt. Mm. Uh, yeah, and Wii Sports. You're right. Everyone who got a Wii, which was a lot of motherfucking people. Yeah. And for the first time, people that were not gamers were getting Wiis. It was accessible because of that Wii mode. Um, yeah, I think sports. Wii Sports is the Apache Smash. I'm with you. That's the. Yeah. That's the. That's the tenth in our list. Pretty crazy. So many. You could if I give. had to narrow them down, so many you could give it to. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, RO mentions games that changed the industry. Tons of stuff. Do we even put? It's interesting. I got my favorites in there. I got Metal Gear, got Resident Evil. I got. Oh, there's a fucking creeper. Jesus Christ. Is he fucking following me still, Brian? They follow you and then they they, they pop. Where the fuck did he go? Oh shit. I think my stuff's all around one of these corners. I'm just gonna make a mad dash, Brian. There's someone else in there. I'm gonna grab my shit and then I'm gonna we're going to look for that cave where Jesus rose when we first started playing. Is it ah oh, fuck! Brian, I got snookered. He came out of nowhere. Wait, look, 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 look. Oh shit, okay. This is it, this is it. Oh fuck, dead end. Brian, it's a dead end. Fuck. No, We're gonna just find. We're gonna find that hole. Actually, I don't know if we're gonna find it again. We should find a new cave system. <laughs> we should start over again. And we should take a call. There's a lovely caller on the phone. That's right, waiting so patiently. Thank you for being so patient. Um, <clears throat> what was more fun last week, watching me run around the shield hell uh, carrier over and over again, or this week, me repetitively. Look at I'm fucking animal husbandry out there. Wow. Look at all these. Look at this. Nature is abundant, Artie. Hey guys. How's How it going? Doing? Is this a fucking llama? Uh, okay. Um, I don't mean to pull the show down, but a week ago I lost my sister. Oh, oh my I'm sorry goodness. to hear I'm that. Sorry. That's major. Damn, man. How are you holding up, man? Yeah. Uh, well, I've been kind of medicating, watching a lot of PPS. Um, I kind of wanted to get into the show prior to this so i'm going back and watching like the year um, the year okay. a nice year in review yeah man anything that i mean i can't even imagine what that's like but anything that we can do to take your mind off of that i mean yeah it it's been great um in in uh we 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 um have our funeral on friday okay um she suddenly died from the flu oh fuck that's wild. Yeah. Um, yeah, she was on um, these uh, meds for um, rheumatoid. Uh-huh. Uh, Which is just like really arthritis. That wrecked her immune system. Oh, fuck. Damn, man. That's so unfortunate, man. Uh, yeah. I hate to hear that. Yeah, man. If we can uh, just... Respects your family. Yeah, if we can ease your suffering in any way on... Uh, on a Wednesday night live, or, or even going back through the playlists, like that really means a lot. Yeah, it does. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, man. Uh, well, um, now th th this uh, this service you've got coming up on Friday, you got uh, you got family that you can spend time with. Are you guys supporting each other through this? Because that's really it's all you can do is kind of just be there for each other in these times. Yeah, um, every, everyone's really, there's been a really uh, big um, outpouring from the neighbors and um, yeah. everyone's coming my, together. My, my family. That's good. Yeah, um, more, more, 
more now than than ever you know yeah for sure well when it's sudden like that it's got to be you know a shock a total shock yeah. i mean I, ca I can't even imagine say less uh, i feel oh, no. like oh, sorry I, I'm... you hit the llama now they're all mad at you oh, shit. i thought the llamas were nice <laughs> Uh, well, now going through the year of poorly played streams, uh, are you watching all of our Metal Gear Summer and all of our Resident Evil Halloween streams? I just got to um, maybe like two into the Metal Gear. Okay, um, so you got like periodically. <clears throat> you got you got weeks of the Phantom Pain coming up. Oh boy. Yeah. Um. I think I think I have a free, you know, it's one of those games on my list, and I got a copy, a digital copy on my Xbox. So maybe yeah. after this, I'll finally pick it up. Because um, in the episode, um, Brian talks about how like they upscaled it or something for the Xbox. So if you played, yeah, Phantom uh, Pain on an Xbox One, I I bet that's like the best it would look, right? Yeah. Would it upscale it to 4K and everything? I think so. They have a lot of, like, optimization on the Xbox Series X. Egg? Yeah. We were talking, you know, it's interesting in the news that Microsoft's <clears throat> rumored to just have third parties put their software out, uh, or, or at least you'd be able to play their software on third-party systems. Um, but that Xbox Series X, the big fucking fridge, it's a, it is a cool piece of hardware. Just for that, well, like yes. what Brian was talking about, man, uh, playing your old library in in the highest fidelity you can. Yeah. In the and, Xbox um, game you bought. I'm a I'm an Xbox guy, you know. Like that's my, you know, I'll, I'll play PlayStation, sure, but sure. Based on what my friends play and um, uh, mostly that. Um, yeah. I've been on Team Xbox for a long time, and I don't care about the exclusives, man. Like, not at all. Like, I'm unfazed by this. I think Game Pass is fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. I have um, I have a little uh, Logitech um, handheld. Okay. And it does does the cloud really well. So, oh, like, that's right. Yeah, you know, you know, Sony's selling their like backbone, and it's like, dude, this is like two hundred dollars. Not that bad, though. Yeah. Yeah, but you gotta also have a screen to put in it already. You gotta have a phone to put in there. Uh, yeah, I want. I the, want the yellow one. I want the the Death Stranding one. That 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 that, oh. one, that one does look cool with the 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 exclusive piss color. It's yeah. Sam, yeah. It's At Sam that point, Porter's, I would just get the portal. It's Sam Porter's piss. Yeah, right. I, I mean, get the get just get the thing with the screen built into it if yeah. that's what you're using it for. Um, yeah, you know, like as far as like. Xbox exclusives, man, there's not much. I think it's technically Trisha's system. The only game I have on it is like Dead Rising 4, I think because it didn't come out on PS5. Um, yeah. And then I've still never even cracked that case. Like, I've never opened that software. Uh, played a lot of Gears 1, all resed up to 4K, though. That was pretty. I loved that. But how do you feel, Artie, about this... Um news that so uh, microsoft might be done making consoles as an xbox guy does that kind of bum you out or worry you or are you content maybe using steam from now on you know i i don't know what the future will bring you know yeah um i'll go where i think the best deal is at you know like i i had a switch and i was like spending way more money on games for that than I was on you know a year of game uh, game pass yeah um, oh, and you know I, I'm right. sure I got a I got a small steam library and I'm gonna keep building it up because uh, these handhelds look like they're going places so yeah um, uh, the steam deck I will say is like a really nice machine and it's a little step up from I think you know what a switch can do although yeah the switch does first party Nintendo games best and that's kind of like what it's for in my opinion uh, I don't yeah. think emulations there yet but with the other stuff like with the older libraries man emulation on the Steam Deck seems, I really got to get on on that because that's the one thing I haven't done yet I got so many damn games I've been buying Yeah. and uh, it's like well I haven't even gotten to the point where I've had time to fuck with emulation 
<clears throat> my my friend he he has both the Steam Deck and a Switch, and I didn't understand quite how it works, but basically he cloned like Ooh. I don't know like like the IP address like mm -hmm. the 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 BIOS of his Switch he put it on his Steam Deck, so when he opens Whoa. up the emulator for his Switch on his Steam Deck, it acts just like his Switch. And it logs in and like thinks it's a switch. Yes, that's fucking crazy. Isn't that Brian. crazy? See, I didn't even know you yes. do that, but here, here I am. Yeah, getting, yeah. Getting surprised. I'm thinking like, yeah, yeah, you gotta have a switch because you can't play new stuff on a Steam Deck, but they've got a fucking switch emulator on Steam Deck. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Damn, and it's damn. Yeah, no, it's kind of ridiculous, bro. Yeah. It is. It, yeah, it's ridiculous. like it's over. <laughs> It's so over. Yeah, it's it's funny. Can't get the cat back in the bag. It's out of the bag. Hmm. Well, I thank you for calling us, yeah, Artie, Artie, and I, I, I'm I'm sorry again for the situation you're in. A hundred percent. Yeah, and uh, we're here for you, man. And just know that uh, we're thinking about you. And uh, have a good rest of your week. Respect to your family. Sorry. Yeah. Stay strong on Friday, man. And we uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Guys, uh, what do you say we do um, a oh. spin for my sister? Oh, let's do oh, it. Oh, perfect. Let's do it. I was about to leave. To you. Me. Don't walk away let's me. do it. We're going to do a wheel spin here. Artie, what are you looking for? What kind of um, spin you want today? Uh, you know, I, I like the, the interactive like freestyling stuff. Or interactive, or okay. Something. Maybe All some right. karaoke. Hopefully not the death box. Yeah, yeah. No, that would be really in poor taste. Like in very oh, poor yeah, taste. Yeah. We need memorial feet show. I didn't even think about that. Jesus Christ, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> feet. Here, here's the spin. <laughs> Where's it gonna stop? Please leave. Thank you for your call, Artie. We sure do love you. We'll see you next time. The board has come <laughs> to the decision. Please leave. <laughs> now, after something like that, I'm going to need to take a quick little break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Oh, no. Artie. And you'll be right back. It ain't over. The chat is still with us. The wheel has been spun. And we know what that outcome was. Welcome back to the show, though. Rest uh, in peace, Maya. Thank you again for calling in every week, Artie. We're, we're with you this week, buddy. Stay strong. 
Okay, so um, we've announced Metal Gear Con. Yeah. MGS2. The first one they called Meme Jeans and Snakes. Oh, okay. This one, I believe, is called... Um, um, there's this funny subtext to it. It's, uh, it's Peace Walker. Mean Jeans and Snakes, MGS Con 2. I thought it was called uh, Con of the Patriots or something. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that was it. Maybe they changed it. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure. But uh, we talked about that. We talked about the, the, the skate deck of our dear friend Kevin. Love it. It's in-house. It's in stock as well as the boys' skate deck and our In 5 Minutes blu You got to get one of those. You never know what's going to happen. You never know. You never know. Never. Uh, you never know when you can 360 flip over a little kid riding a scooter inside the half pipe. Why do they bring the scooters into the fucking half pipe now, these kids? I don't know, but I'm that's the one old of my favorite videos. Oh, when the kid in the scooter gets just destroyed? Just destroyed. I always feel bad. I, you know what I like better, Not Brian, me. is the video where the skater, like intercepts the child and yeah. kind of like picks them up and then like turns around and like sets them down yeah and then like instead of like destroying them. that that one is far more impressive but man there's something i love about a stupid oh, kid getting yeah. destroyed by a skateboard something i love about a reel or an instagram uh, whatever yeah, when it has content warning before it it's like ooh, ooh let me something see it. good let yes see i say except let me see why the fuck is a toddler running around a skate park um, fucking catching air, dude. Getting, yeah, getting yeah, sick they caught air. some serious air. Getting they did a 180 sick. fucking backflop. Getting some sick air, bro. What? So great. I'm on level. Yeah. I'm touching shit over here like, a, yeah, like a dingus. Um, okay, I loaded up our outro music because I did also want to talk. It's not outro time yet. Oh. Don't fucking panic, everyone. I gotta get my shit back from this man maniac mansion over here. <laughs> nah, I'm not going back in there. Fuck okay, them. good. Fuck You're not them. getting it back, buddy. Fuck them. Wooden sword. I got this. Oh, I can't even do wood. Shit. All right, we'll do pickaxe. Or what is that? A hoe? Oh, now I'm out of hoe. Use a hoe. I'm out of hoe material. You doing hoe activities? Jesus Christ. I've with hoe tendencies. Hoes are your friends and hoes are your enemies. Captain Save a hoe over here. I'm getting mad trophies though, that's, which is that's kinda cool. Yeah. Doing some agriculture. I love the 2013 jokes. Who doesn't? OR. Who doesn't? It's great. Um So I've I've uh what what else have I have I announced? Uh did I get to everything? Oh boy. MGS Con skate decks the 17th we've got the board game olympics mm -hmm. man i think i've i think i've hit it all i had a happy birthday mm -hmm. Whew. Whew. we've been we've been around the world man yeah it's been it's been quite a show and around oh. this house and i loaded up my final track uh to close the show out tonight Ooh, outro. with the uh we were talking about the midi version came on when Brian was gushing about Resident Evil 2. I'm always gushing, baby. Ada's theme. And I beat the Separate Ways uh, DLC for yeah. RE4 Remake, finally. I really took my time with it. But I was so into that game. I think I preferred mm -hmm. Separate Ways over Leon's main campaign. Oh, yeah. It was way more fun. I, I, I think, like... It revisited the, uh, you know, the the new score for RE4 was good. Yeah. But Ada's Separate Ways score was, hey, here's, like, remixes and, like, little nods mm -hmm. to, like, the original RE4 music. Oh, fuck. They, they're doing this save room theme. They brought this back. And the, the outro that I've got queued up here is uh, Ada's theme. But specifically during the credits of Separate Ways, yeah, there's a new remix, which is great because Resident Evil always ends with a rock music, you know? Right, some credits. Little, like... It's always, like, cheesy 90s-sounding rock in the credits. Yeah. And uh, this was no different, but it was a remix of the Ada theme from Resident Evil 2. It was so fucking good. That's really cool. We're going to play the original at the end of the show here, um, not the MIDI version you heard earlier, but... That remix, though, uh, look it up on YouTube if you want. Um, I've been jamming to that all week. Once I beat the game, I was like, got the credits, and I was like, this is the sickest fucking... They saved this song for the best part. This is fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, really liked her campaign, though. Going through 
it expanded and all the while alongside Leon. Mm -hmm. um, taking the set pieces that weren't remade for his campaign, putting it into hers, like the different boss fights, and even different forms of the same boss. It's like, oh, you get to get a, a Salazar fight that's totally different from Leon, where he's like still kind of human. Oh, fucking awesome, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Is it Salazar or Sadler? I forget. I think it's Sadler. Sadler. Yeah. It was really fun. I thought they did a good job with it, and uh, and yeah, uh, Meow Network in the chat says the after credit scene played a theme from Resident Evil Five. So, you know that I, too. I, I I think we're definitely getting Resident Evil Five. I'm talking right about now. like the the after credit or not the after credit scene. There was a lot more Wesker in in the. Mm -hmm. They're they're like building up for RE five remake and stuff, and they're putting Wesker on like a ship. Yeah, which that was interesting. Like that after credit scene where Wesker's on the ship reminded me a lot of the Resident Evil movie with mm. Mila Jovovich, where yeah, Wesker's on a big umbrella like ocean liner, like running their mobile laboratory, and it's all automated, and she makes her way on the boat. I don't know if you remember that movie. It's like the fourth or fifth one. It's terrible. No, I stopped watching after two. But I just thought, like, hey, RE4 is the first game to pull something out of the movies. They put the laser hallway in that game. Mm hmm Left it out of Leon's remake, but put it in separate ways. Yeah, I like that. I thought it was cool. Definitely. It was really smart. Yeah, and it, it, it utilized her grappling mechanic perfectly, because that's how you kind of solve that QTE event. It made sense, because she has that grapple gun. Uh, okay. Anyway. Yeah, they, they do an after credit scene in that where they really kind of set up Wesker to be the next kind of, whether we get Code Veronica, fingers crossed, or five, I don't know, uh, what'll come first. But both of those are Wesker is your bad, your big bad, you know. He's, mm -hmm. he's definitely being, like, set up with Capcom for these remakes. <clears throat> and I like that. That little nod to the RE5 music was good. It's a hint. Uh... But yeah, just jamming out to the Ada's theme remix for the credits was fucking awesome. Cool. Yeah. Great, great. I wouldn't uh, have noticed that, honestly. Yeah, great. When it hits, it's like hard to, it's hard not to notice. Because you got that piano thing that her song does in there. It's like, bing, ba -ding, ba -ding. this is the original. I hate clicking in the sticks. It takes a while to get going, you know. But when it does, you recognize that. That's that piano drip. It's that drip, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This ain't it, actually. I'm fucking up today, dude. Like, left and right. What track was it? Is it 18 or 12? It's fucking 18. Jesus Christ. Fucking Brian. It's this one. Oh, okay. Ugh, I should go. This is the end credit theme. Thank you for joining us on the Poorly Played stream. Goodbye. We sure do love you. See you next week. No. I, I just, I can't keep making mistakes like this, Brian. Can't keep getting away with it. He can't keep getting away with it! He's unimpressed. I'm Jesse Pinkman. I sure do love you. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week. We'll see you here next week. Maybe we venture off the PS3. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. It's, it's, it's I, don't, I, I may play more Minecraft. The chat loved it. The chat liked Minecraft? Yeah, they thought they thought you did a great job. I, I feel like I did a lot of looking at my own balls. Yes. Can't wait to see the comments. See you on YouTube. A lot of this. Even if you're on YouTube. And we'll see you for a brand new podcast this Sunday night. Woo! Good night. Am I on the air? Yep. Fuck. Thanks. Thank you! Thank you, people! Thank you! Thank you! I'm glad you like the show! Yes, Okay, I'll be okay.
Uh, yeah, this is Matt from next door. Uh-huh. Yeah, do you think we could, uh, do you guys have any extra ones or fives? Uh, not really. We have, like, one pack of ones left. We'll need them for tomorrow. And you couldn't change it all? I, got, I gotta change money. Look, I'm coming right over with some money, and you guys gotta change it for me, and that's that, okay? I can't do it. I'm you sorry. got it. I'm, I'll be right over. I can't do it. Listen, I'm coming over. That's it. Alright, later. 